हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम प्रेम गुप्ता योर इंग्लिश टीचर ये स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी वर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर इलेवन ऑफ इंग्लिश ओपेनिस का इस बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज हेलन केलर ये स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द स्टोरी ऑफ हेलन केलर इन लाइव क्लासेस एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द एक्सरसाइजेज गिवेन इन द चैप्टर देर आर सो मेनी एक्सरसाइजेज गिवेन लर्निंग वर्ड्स ट्रू फॉल्स फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स एंड मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो जस्ट ओपिन योर बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश पेज नंबर नाइन्टी फोर इट इज गिवेन एक्सरसाइजेज आर गिवेन एट द पेज नंबर नाइन्टी फोर नाइन्टी फाइव एंड नाइन्टी सिक्स ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द लर्निंग वर्ड्स ये स्टूडेंट जस्ट सी वाट वी हैव टू डू इन द एक्सरसाइज लर्निंग वर्ड्स जस्ट सी फाइन the opposite of the words given in the bracket to fill in the blanks yes students uh, sentences are given here that is incomplete okay there are blanks given in the sentences and there is a particular words also given in the bracket okay and uh, you have to fill the opposite word that is given in the bracket suppose that there is a word given clean and what would be the opposite of it dirty you have to fill the dirty okay dear students one question i am going to deal and after that i will write the answer only the say students first question is given i don't like to sit in a dot 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 blank is given and then after place and there is a word that is given in the bracket that is clean and you have to fill in this blank the opposite of this word it means you have to fill the opposite of clean in the given blank and what would be the opposite of clean that is dirty you have to fill here dirty you see i don't like to sit in a dirty you have to fill the word dirty okay students you see d i r t y t okay d i r t y d i r t y you will fill the word dirty d i r t y Difference that is not visible. Okay, but you will feel the word dirty. Okay. Okay, students. So you will feel the word dirty. T i r t y. And come to the next question. Just see what is the next question given here. Everyone who is dot 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 here. Should listen carefully. In the bracket, it is given absent. And what would be the opposite of absent? Present. So you will fill the word present in the second blank. Just say, students, you will fill the word present. P R E S E N T. And now we can see the sentence. And just see, read the sentence. Everyone who is present in the blank, you will fill the word present. <coughs> That is the most appropriate and suitable word. That you will fill in the question number B. Okay, everyone who is present here should listen carefully. In the bracket, it is written absent, and what would be the opposite of the word absent? That is present. Okay, come to the next question. Question number C. Just see, the man was, the man was a dot 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 blank is given, and did not go to save his brother. In the bracket, it is written brave. The students, you also open your book, and you also fill the uh, blank, okay, by using pencil, with the help of pencil. You see, it is written here in the bracket, brave, and what would be the opposite of it? Coward, okay, coward, C O W A R D, coward means coward, and that is the opposite of brave. Now you can see what would be the correct sentence. The man. Was a coward and did not go to save his brother. Okay, come to the next sentence. Question number D. Just see what is question number D. The boy is very dot 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 as he can solve all the problems. In the bracket, it is written here dull. And what would be the opposite of dull? Intelligent. So you will fill the word intelligent in the given blank. Okay. You will fill the word intelligent. The sentence is intelligent, and what would be the sentence? Once again, you see, the boy is very intelligent, as he can solve all the problems. Okay.
come to the next question question number e just see students what is question number e <coughs> just see what is question number e a new student came to my class a new student came to my class who is very clever clever and what would be opposite of it dull you will feel the word dull okay you will feel the word dull okay that is the opposite of the word clever or you can say that is the opposite of the word intelligent also okay so in the question number e you will feel the word dull d u d l l okay students and rest of the answer i will write here question number f you can see what is the question number f i have never met such a person who is so dot 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 honest is given in the bracket and what would be the opposite of honest dishonest you will feel the word dishonest d i s h o n e s t just see dishonest question number f just see i have never met such a person who is dishonest okay dishonest is the correct option g question number g they came to our place with the hope that we would dot dot, dot then them okay just see here harm harm h a r m that is given in the bracket and what would be the opposite of harm care you will feel the word care just see once again i am going to read the sentence they came to our place with the hope that we would care okay we would care that okay you will feel the word care now come to the last question question number h just see people who do good find place in dot dot, dot after death in the bracket it is written hell and what would be the opposite of hell heaven h e a v e n okay heaven is the most appropriate suitable word to fill in the given blank you can see the sentence now people who do good find place in heaven after death okay students so these are the words that you have to fill in the given blanks in the exercise number in, in the exercise learning words okay students so in this way we have completed the exercise learning words and now we will discuss the exercise true false okay that is the second exercise i hope that you all have written these words in your book okay students dear students you have to fill it only in your book no need to write in the notebook okay so come to the next exercise that is exercise number second true false dear students in exercise number second in true false that is true false t r u e true and false dear students sentences are given you have to tell the given sentences are true or false according to the chapter Just see here. It is given at the page number ninety-five. Just see, Helen's father and mother knew how to help their little girls. Dear students, it is written here. Helen's father and mother knew knew that how to help the little child, little girl. No, that is wrong. They don't know how to help Helen Keller. Okay, therefore, uh, they keep they kept a teacher. any solution so that is false so in the first box you will fill the word false f a l s e okay that is the answer come to the next sentence <coughs> yes see any solution was helen's teacher who taught her to speak yes any solution was the teacher of helen keller who taught her to speak so that is true come to the next question question number c and what is question number c there was a pond in the garden and miss sullivan put helen's hand in the cold water yes there was a pond no there was a well okay well there was a well in the story it is written well not pond okay so that is false 
एफ ए एल एस ए टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर डी एंड व्हाट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर डी हेलन लर्न हेलन लर्न मेनी न्यू वर्ड्स एवरी डे एंड वॉज ऑलवेज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन यस दैट इज ट्रू सी लर्न सो मेनी वर्ड्स एंड ऑलवेज यूज टू आस्क सो मेनी क्वेश्चन सो दैट इज ट्रू क्वेश्चन नंबर ई सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर ई वेन सी वॉज सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड वेन सी वॉज अबाउट सिक्सटीन ईयर ओल्ड Helen knew how to speak four languages. No, she knows that how to speak five languages, not four. So that is wrong sentence. So we will fill in the box the word false. Okay, students. So in this way we have completed the exercise number second. That is true and false. In the first box we will fill the word false. In the second box we will fill the word true. In the question number C you will fill the word false. In the question number D, you will fill the word true. In the question number E, you will fill the word false. Okay, students, you fill it in the given box in your book. And now we will discuss the exercise third, that is filling the blanks. Yes, students, I am going to erase it. I hope that you all have written. Come to the next exercise, exercise number third. Let's see what is exercise number third. That is filling the blanks. Yes, students, sentences are given. and that is incomplete sentence you have to choose the most appropriate suitable word to fill in the given blank so just see here first question helen was a brave and dot 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 girl in the first question it is written here helen was a brave and dot 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 girl in the dot 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 in the given space you have to fill the word clever c l e v e r that is the most appropriate suitable word that you have to fill in the given blank okay come to the next question <coughs> question number b let's see helen touched miss sullivan's face and mouth when miss sullivan spoke the students spoke is the most appropriate and suitable word that you have to fill in the given blank okay question number c let's see what is question number c when she was 16 years old Okay, when she was dot 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 years old, sixteen, and just see read next. Helen knew how to speak five languages. Yes, when she was about sixteen years old, S I X T E W E, and we'll fill the word sixteen. Okay, come to the next question. Question number D. Helen's father was told about Miss Sullivan when Helen was nearly dot 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 years old. when she was about 6 years old so in the question number d you will fill the word 6 okay now come to the next question question number e what is question number e for 5 years the little girl lived in a dark and dot 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 world you will fill the word silent s i l e n t okay that is silent So, students, these are the words that you have to fill in the blank in the question number third, in the question in the size number third. Let's see. In the first blank, you will fill the word clever. In the second blank, you will fill the word spoke. In the third blank, you will fill the word sixteen. In the question number D, you will fill the word six. In the question number E, you will fill the word silent. Okay, students. So you complete it in your book, and ah, uh, you can also take the screenshot. Okay. now we will discuss the next exercise that is multiple choice question okay students i am going to erase it i hope that you all have completed i'll have done now we will discuss the exercise fourth that is multiple choice question yes students sentences are given that is incomplete to complete the sentences there are four options given and you have to choose only one option that is the most appropriate or suitable option okay just see Uh, it is given here. Put a tick on the correct option to complete the sentences. Just see first question. After her illness, Helen's parents found that she had become first option unconscious, second option deaf, third option dumb, and the fourth option blind. Dear students, the fourth option is the correct option. Okay. Question number A. Option number four that is blind. B L I N D. That is the most appropriate and suitable word. We will take on that. 
ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर बी जस्सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर बी द लिटिल गर्ल लिव्ड इन द साइलेंट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकंड जस्सी द लिटिल गर्ल लिव्ड इन द साइलेंट वर्ल्ड फॉर थ्री इयर्स फोर इयर्स फाइव इयर्स एंड सिक्स इयर्स फॉर फाइव इयर्स इसलिए ऑप्शन नंबर थर्ड इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन दैट इज फाइव इयर्स ओके फाइव इयर्स इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन You will tick on the option five years. Question number C. And turn the page, students. Turn the page. Come to the page number ninety six. And just see what is written here. Helen often shouted and cried due to blindness, anger, deafness, and dumbness. Students, option number second. Due to anger, <coughs> because she was unable to understand the people. So option number second anger is the correct option you will take on that come to the next question question number d you see any sullivan had learned how to teach blind and deaf deaf what people children men or man option number second is the correct option that is children okay you will take on the option number second any sullivan knew that how to teach a blind and deaf children okay come to the next question question number last question number e in the beginning miss sullivan was unable to make helen there are four options given understand no identity speak dear students option number first is the correct option that is understand okay you will tick on the option number first okay you can see yes see students so these are the exercises that you have to complete it in your book yes see in the first question option number 4 blind is the correct option in the question number b option number 3 5 years is the correct option in the question number c option number 2 anger is the correct option question number d option number 2 children is the correct option question number e option number 1 understand is the correct option Okay, students. So in this way, we have completed the learning words, true, false, fill in the blanks, and multiple choice question given in the chapter. Yes, students. If you are getting any kind of problem, you may ask on WhatsApp. That's all for today. Thank you.